So there's a glitch in Bell Wells that allows you to catch the five tower bosses around the map. Now this is still working as of today's patch. If it does get fixed, I will update the title of the video so you don't waste your time. Now on screen, you can see I have all five of the tower bosses in my party. Now I only had four of them when I started recording this video, but I finally went and caught that fifth one. It was Marcus, the flying boss. He is a lot harder to catch, but at the end of the video, I'll show you some gameplay of how I did it using a flying mount. Now the other four are insanely easy to get though, do not stress, and I'll explain the process in detail and I'll go over what you need to do it. Let's get into it. <laughs> So in all honesty, all you need to get this going is a weapon. A bow is what I'll be using in this video. Now you want to make your way to any village or settlement around the map. Now once you're here, you need to get yourself a wanted status so that the officers start coming after you. Now the easiest way to do this is to just go up and shoot an officer. Now if you shoot multiple, you'll get stacks of wanted, which I believe for this glitch is actually a good thing. Now I recommend shooting two or three officers and then fast traveling to the boss tower as quick as you can. Now when you get there, there should be another officer who spawns in, wait for him and then shoot him while he has line of sight of you and that will give you another wanted stack. Now we can just head straight into the boss arena to do the glitch. Now you can do this on wanted times one if you want, but if you go to a higher wanted level, they start bringing machine guns and shotguns, and it all makes it so much easier for them to shoot the boss, which is what you want. So once you're in the arena, you want to skip the cinematic, and now your goal is to get the boss in between you and that officer. Now as soon as the officer has successfully shot the boss and dealt damage, then the glitch is done. Now this for some reason just allows you to throw a Pell Sphere at it and you can catch the boss with a 100% guarantee. Now if you want to be sure that it has worked, you can just wait a couple seconds after the boss has been hit and the boss should start by finding its way to the edge of the arena or even sometimes it just walks straight into the corner and it just sits there AFK. Once it's done that, you know, it is safe to throw the Pell Sphere. Now, some things to keep in mind is that the glitch does often mess up if you or a pal does deal damage to the boss at any point. So I do recommend keeping your pals off hostile or just not using any at all. And then also if you're struggling to survive against the officers, maybe you're really, really low level, just feel free to keep it on times one assault. It just means that the officer will be using a pistol instead of a machine gun. Just keep that in mind. Now when they're captured, they can be used just like any other pal in the game. Their stats don't change when you level them up, I believe, despite it telling you that they do. Now, the damage is very lackluster as well, but their HP is absolutely insane. You can use any of these guys to steamroll your way through the game as they simply don't die. Now, I'd keep one in your party at all times and just pull it out if you're getting attacked by anything too scary. Now, this does mean they're fantastic at killing bosses that are way too high level for you, which is essentially its own XP farm. Now, I do believe you can ride them when you're high enough level to get the saddle for the given pal, but you unfortunately cannot breed them. That would have been super sick. Unfortunately, it does not work. And that is just about everything with this glitch. Subscribe if it helped and leave a comment if you are having trouble. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace.